Hey, it's American Lawnsdale fan. Just got back from the gun club uh, doing some painting work and doing some work around the club itself. And I'm ready to just almost call it a day. It's my day off. But uh, I just wanted to do a quick video today, kind of a set part two on the uh, body action system. Uh, if you've seen my videos, my review on the body action system got probably the most views. And I think it's because I just gave it a different perspective. So I just wanted to do a follow-up video. It's been uh, well over a year since I've had this. I've used the hell out of it. Um, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. But I have noticed, like anything, there's some little quirks uh, to it. No, obviously nothing was a deal breaker. But I just wanted to share some things uh, with you that can help maximize uh, this equipment if you haven't bought it already and you're thinking about it or if you already have it and notice some of the quirks uh, that I have um, like I said nothing major the biggest thing is mostly about the mounting and if you haven't purchased one yet and you think you're gonna put it in your inside your house with carpeting or something that could be different if you put it inside of a actual gym where you're actually gonna mount it to the floor that could be different uh, for most of us, we're just putting it somewhere on a hard surface, so uh, just some things to consider. Hope you okay, know. so this is the body action system, and if you'll notice that instead of just, I initially had it just on the concrete floor of the garage, and what I did is I purchased this relatively inexpensive mat. Um, you can buy one for like, uh, this one cost me 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, what it does is it just kind of uh, helps stabilize it, gives it a little bit of shock absorption. Uh, remember, if you're hitting this like I do, it's going to be rocking back and forth pretty good. And although the put these off, even though these things do have like a rubber polymer uh, padding here, uh, they do take a lot of um, shock um, if you're really using this. So it's nice to have it padded here so that um, now it's uh, pushing uh, against the uh, the mat itself so, and it just I've noticed it just really kind of stabilizes it uh, particularly for some of the elements that I'm going to explain later so that's number one and by the way like I said this is cheap it was 20 bucks from Amazon so if it starts tearing or getting holes in it I just move it a little bit gets a hole in another place well eventually I replace it so no big deal Okay, the second part is the sandbags. You have to remember sandbags don't last forever. Um, and especially because these are supposed to be weighting them down. Um, you know, this canvas will start to wear. Uh, you can see a little bit. Uh, over time, this is going to start leaking sand. Not so bad. These, um, these bags that I bought on Amazon, um, they're a little thinner. They're not too bad, but they they uh, they will split it's just a part of it uh, no big deal um, these you can buy six more for like 50 bucks and these are uh, I think about 20 bucks on Amazon for uh, for their canopy bags essentially and these are like 20 bucks for about a, a box of six so uh, it's a good idea just just you know use the sandbags okay now Next part, even though all these bolts, a lot of them, they have locking washers. Remember, there's a lot of vibration in this, so they do come loose. And that's another reason I bought this mat, so it kind of absorbs this. You will notice more and more that these things will start coming loose. You do a pretty good workout, all of a sudden this comes loose like that. Uh, mostly because these arms take a lot of the uh, impact. So you just got to remember to put them back. Do yourself a favor though, because these are just kind of aluminum. If you notice this one here is bent, because I kind of pushed it with uh, the heel of my shoe and it bent a little bit. Nothing major. And keep in mind, it'd be really easy just to uh, just replace this with an actual bolt. I've thought about doing that, but since I bought the mat, I've noticed they don't really come out um, as much. so. Uh, you'll notice I attached a canopy bag to the base, but right now I'm going to take it off to show you something else. Okay. 
So this is a canopy bag that I attached. But what I want to show you is these two bolts right here. They attach to the base and the main arm, if you will. And you can see there's some rubber collars right there. So, well, guess what? Even with those rubber collars and, and the locking uh, washers and stuff, they will come loose a little bit. They're not going to come loose with one uh, workout. It's going to take a good couple months of constant use, but they can come loose. No big deal. What you'll notice is this arm starts to really move more than it should. So you will just have to go ahead and tighten these from time to time. Nothing major. And then put it back. So Anyway, those are the really only quirks I've found with this. Um, let me show you the pads themselves. I am shocked because, you know, uh, with all these pads, I've actually kicked and punched them. And for the fact that they're not leather, they're just vinyl, uh, they've, they've really held up pretty good. I can't complain at all. Um, no issues. I would say that's really it, is invest in the sandbags. Um, just having the six I don't think is enough for somebody who's really going to use it. I would say invest in a pad if you plan to put it on either a hardwood floor or any kind of concrete. Just buy a pad surface so that way it uh, kind of absorbs some of that impact. And that way I think it'll prolong the life of the um, equipment itself. And uh, make sure to tighten the bolts. Um, I showed you the two right there, but just check all the bolts around here. Just for example, they do move. Uh, remember is that when you're kicking and moving this thing, there's a lot of vibration that goes on and you know, you know, bolts come loose. It happens. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that's all I got. This is kind of a follow up, uh, part two, if you will, to, uh, my review. Uh, I've been pretty happy with it. I, I can't say that it's let me down. Remember once again, it's not a freestanding heavy bag. It's a freestanding pad holder. But the workouts are pretty good. I can't complain. And um, you know, it's, it is an expensive piece of equipment, but I think it's worth it if you're planning to actually use it. And like I said, within a year, this thing looks brand spanking new. Um, I mean, I could sell it right now and probably get most of uh, the price for it if I wanted to because it's it's held up great I uh, can't complain so and keep another thing the this thing has been around a long time um, at least for a piece of uh, fitness equipment we all know that fitness fads go like crazy um, we all remember crazy little uh, gimmicks uh, for f exercise equipment that came and went uh, they only lasted a couple of years and then they were gone this has been around for a while. It's been, uh, I believe it's been around for almost just short of 10 years or something and it's, uh, it's still available and it still gets um, some press and I think it's because it does work. So anyway, that's all I got. God bless you and those you love.